I'm your host Dr. Ernest and you're watching Grand News. In this week's episode we have a look at really cool artwork, few observations, memes and some more stuff. Unfortunately this week things were bits too much hectic for me and I wasn't able to get a guest for this week's episode so I'm really sorry for that but I'm gonna do better next time so keep your eyes peeled. Let's get into the news. Before the patch 3.2.1 the coin counter for Syndicate was really bugged and didn't count the coins correctly and I have the accurate footage of the Syndicate players from the times. Now you know how it felt to be a Syndicate player in the patch 3.2 and now you can catch a glimpse of how it felt being a PS4 player in this patch. In the Gwent community you can find really talented people. One of them is also Yatsi, who has drawn this amazing artwork. We know that every month cards that are weak are bumped up to a better, better spot I can say. And this month a new way how to bully Arca Queen has been brought up and it looks something like this. In the last week of Gwent News I've talked about how the leader models on the coin flip screen look really bad and they are not rendered to their full, full potential and CDPR are working on that. For those who look motivation, here's something to brighten up your day. Funny easter egg was found by user Metafish. They have noticed that the gravestones on the monster board have some names engraved on them in Glegolithic script and translated them. And it became apparent that these names are the names of the artists of Grants. You can find more about this down in the description in the post link to this. Art is being seen on letters so much that people have decided to end it drastically. This is how it feels like when you can no longer buy cosmetics with meteoric powder. Fun little meme was created when CDPR started shipping to North America. Observe it yourself. This was it for this week's episode. See you next time and stay awesome.